Suave. Como se va? Ciao. Italy is a beautiful European country with a long coastline, which has left a huge mark on Western culture and food. Italy is mostly surrounded by water. In fact, the country is easy to spot on a map because it's shaped like a boot. Thanks to its ancient Roman ruins, fascinating history, fabulous fashion, and amazing art, Italy is the third most visited country in the world. Let us take you on a tour of the most popular tourist destinations in Italy. So grab your passport. We are first headed to the capital of Italy, Rome. built between 72 AD and 80 AD by the Jewish slaves. The Colosseum held events like gladiator contests and wild animal hunts. It was free to go to an event as emperors paid for them to gain popularity. It is estimated that over 400,000 people and 1 million wild animals died during the games that were held at the Colosseum. This landmark is one of seven wonders of the world. Vatican City. Vatican City is the smallest country in the world. It is country within Italy's capital city of Rome. The Pope, the leader of the Catholic Church, lives in the city at Vatican Palace. Vatican City prints its own money, the euro, and stamps. Vatican City issues passports, has its own flag, and anthem. The city is the home of St. Peter's Basilica, a huge church, Trevi Fountain. The name Trevi means three ways because there are three roads that come together at the Trevi Fountain. There is a myth surrounding the fountain. If you throw one coin in, you will go back to Rome. If you throw two coins in, you will fall in love with an attractive Italian. If you throw three coins in, you will marry the person you met. One million euros are thrown into the fountain each year. Biscotti. Biscottis were created in Rome. Biscotti in Latin means two times, so that is why when you cook biscottis, you cook them two times. Biscottis became so popular, other people started to creating their own flavors. They created flavors like lemon, almond, and soon enough, even orange. Christopher Columbus even carried biscottis on his voyages. Next stop is Florence, Tus Tuscany. Welcome to Florence in Tuscany. Tuscany is a region of Italy known worldwide for its rolling hills and amazing wines. And Florence is the region's capital city. Florence is a beautiful city considered the birthplace of the Renaissance, the revival of art and literature in the 15th and 16th centuries. It is considered the birth of the modern world we know today. You can find many amazing artworks in Florence, the home of the largest Renaissance collect art collection in the world, with works from Italian masters like Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo. In fact, Leonardo da Vinci, who made one of the most world one of the world's most Famous painting, the Mona Lisa, was born in Florence and was taught how to draw and sculpt in this amazing city. It was here in Florence where he also painted the Mona Lisa, which now resides in Paris, France. Florence is also the birthplace of opera, the piano, the story of Pinocchio. As seen here from this hand-carved souvenir from Florence, and one of my favorites, gelato ice cream. Gelato is made with milk, cream, various sugars, and other ingredients like fresh fruit and nut praise. Gelato is denser than ice cream and packs much more flavor. You can try Italian gelato yourself the next time you go to the supermarket ice cream aisle. Next, we are off to Tuscan town of Siena. Siena is my personal favorite because my mom named me after this town while touring Italy on my parents' honeymoon. She promises to take me there on my 16th birthday. Siena is famous for its food, art museums, medieval cityscapes, red wines, and the Palio di Siena, a horse race held twice a year, known simply as Palio. Ten horses with bareback rattles circle the Plaza del Campo for three laps in a race that usually lasts just 90 seconds. It is common for a few jockeys to be thrown from their horses to cross the finish line alone. While you may see plenty of horses in Siena, you will not see any cars. The medieval city was not designed for car travel, as the roads are far too narrow, so no automobiles are allowed in the walls of the old city. Our last visit in Tuscany is to Pisa, which is home of the famous Leaning Tower of Pisa. This amazing Italian landmark is a freestanding bell tower that leans nearly four degrees to the side as it appears that it will fall to the tumble to the ground at any minute. The tower began to lean during its construction 
in the 12th century due to the softness of the ground. But don't worry, the Lena Tower of Pisa does not fall because the center of gravity is carefully centered in the base. At least four strong earthquakes has hit Pisa since 1280, but amazingly, the Leaning Tower still stands. And pack your bags again. We are off to Naples of southern, in southern Italy. Southern Italy is very traditional and is known for its architecture, food, islands, beaches, and medieval towns. Here are three famous destinations. Naples. Naples is one of the largest cities after Rome and Milan. Naples residents are called Neapolitans. The very first pizzeria in Italy and the world, called Antica Pizzeria Port Alba, opened in 1830 and is still open today. Yes, pizza was created in Naples. The Amalfi Coast. The Amalfi Coast is a stretch of coastline along the southern edge of Italy. It's a popular holiday destination with cliffs and beaches on the Mediterranean Sea. Capri is located in the Amalfi Coast, where you can visit the Blue Grotto, a beautiful sea cave. Pompeii. Pompeii is a preserved ancient Roman city. It is located in southern Italy, at the base of Mount Vesuvius. Once a busy and sophisticated city, Pompeii was buried under several feet of ash and pews after Mount Vesuvius erupted over 2,000 years ago. The city is preserved as it were frozen in time. You can visit today as it is a popular tourist destination. I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go eat my pizza now. Welcome to Milan. Milan is the global city of fashion and design. Lake Como is north of Milan, where you can visit Bellagio. Ciao! Venice Fun Facts. Venice was built approximately 1,500 years ago. Venice is made up of 118 islands. Venice is built on water and has no roads, just canals. The Carnival of Venice is an animal festival. The festival is world famous for its elaborate masks, which are available for sale all year long. Venice is known for gondolas, a light flat bottom boat used on city canals and worked by one or at the stern by a trained gondolier. We hope you enjoyed our tour through Italy. Arrivederci! Arrivederci!